Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to do a cooling system pressure test. So why might you do this test? So if your customer is complaining that they're losing coolant or there's a visible leak, then you may want to do this test. Also, if you've changed any components, such as a water pump or a radiator or hose, then you may want to do this test as well. And basically what we're gonna do is pressurize the engine or the cooling system to simulate normal running conditions. Uh, by doing that, we can look around the vehicle, see if there's any leaks, but we don't add the danger of uh, the engine overheating or being damaged. So. The cooling system compression kit we've got here. So there's different types of lids for the for the reservoir. We've got internal threads, external threads, and some that go straight onto the radiator cap. We've also got the main uh, component here, which is the uh, pressure gauge. Um, obviously, it's like a bicycle pump really, and we pump it up using this. And then on this end, we've got the relief valve here, so we can release the pressure after the test is done. So with this particular engine, I've already found which one it is. I've taken the cap off, and I'm gonna put on this adapter here. Put it down nice and tight because obviously you don't want any uh, air leaks there and then what we do is we get the pressure gauge lead and just plug it straight onto there <clears throat> so i'll pop you guys down for a second and what we're going to do is pump it up hopefully you can see that so <clears throat> i've checked this car already it's 1.1 to 1.5 bar so it's the top gauge there so i'm going to be going for 1.3 bar because that's right in the center of what the normal running conditions for this car should be so just bicycle pump it up <clears throat> it's a two minute test and no system's completely perfect 0 0.1 bar leakage is acceptable so i've got it to 1.3 bar hopefully you can see there on the top top line there two dashes below the 1.5 and now it's 1.3 so i'm going to leave that for two minutes uh, and see if it drops more than 0 0.1 uh, there will be small air leaks in the system, but at 0 0.1 bar, you are not going to be losing any coolant at that sort of uh, leakage rate. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to be obviously looking around the vehicle, so I'll take you around with me while I have a quick look. So I'll be looking down here to see if there's any leaks down by the water pump. Quite hard for you guys to see on camera, but it all looks nice and dry down there. Checking around the hoses. And on the under tray, just to make sure there's no leaks down this end of the engine. It all looks okay. And then obviously we're looking under the vehicle as well, to make sure there's no leaks underneath. There's a bit of an old oil mark on the floor there, but nothing dripping, nothing coming off, which is good. Obviously the only way you wouldn't get a, uh, a leak in this test is a head gasket fault, but the customer will be seeing white smoke from the tailpipe if it's burning coolant uh, in the cylinders. So any of the leaks should show up this way. So let's have a quick look at the uh, gauge now. So it was 1.3. It's dropped down to, what, 1.25 effectively. So we'll give it another 30 seconds um, <clears throat> and see what we get. Obviously, once we finish with it, as I say, there's a pressure relief release there. So we press that and, and take the cap off. Uh, but we are nearly there. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. It's well within 0.1 of a bar. So I'm gonna say that's okay on this engine. It's quite an old engine. So uh, again, small air leaks are acceptable, but it's less than zero put one bar after a couple of minutes. So I'm happy that this car's not got any visible leaks or any, any cooling system problems. So next thing we do, release the pressure here on this uh, gate, on this uh, <clears throat> button. Just double check with the dial that's going down. Yeah, zeroed. Pull the release tab. There we go. Radiator cap back on. Or cooling reservoir, I should I say. Cap back on. And that's it. Hope that makes sense. And see you on the next one.